A jetty is defined as a pier projecting out from the shore into the waterway and with facilities for mooring ships at its head or along its flank. Jetties are normally used at major hazard plant for the loading or offloading of hazardous substances in bulk quantities between ship and land-based storage facilities. The design of jetties should take into account the following considerations, general siting or location, the natural phenomena such as the weather and tidal or marine conditions, impact protection for the approach of the ship to the jetty, vessel anchorage and mooring requirements at the jetty, ship to shore transfer of hazardous substances, and access for emergency vehicles and emergency escape. In the choice of the site and the design of the facility, the following strategic factors should be taken into account, road access to the jetty area and storage facilities, the shelter provided by the local landscape to the proposed jetty site, the availability of land for use as storage and material handling areas, the presence of swift access to navigable shipping channels, tidal or current effects, proximity to other jetties and their required ship access marine movements in the area, and the necessary maneuvers for berthing vessels. For the civil and structural engineering design of the facility, consideration needs to be given to the following, fire, the type and maximum size of the ship that is to be moored at the jetty, the hazardous substances to be handled and their chemical and physical properties, the relevant meteorological conditions, including the consideration of storms, other natural phenomena such as lighting, earthquakes, or tremors. Geotechnical information and the geological stability of the area including the seabed, the rise and fall and rate of the tides, cargo handling requirements, construction materials, thermal expansion and contraction, electrical earthing to delivery points and to loading berths given the ignition of flammable vapors can be caused by static electricity. Cathodic protection to undersea steel piles as corrosion of the jetty support structure below the water line could result in structural weakness in the jetty. Due to the inherent difficulties in positioning a large ship alongside a jetty, it is essential that some form of protection be available associated with the jetty to protect the jetty from the ship and vice versa. Form of protection such as fendering and mooring systems are essential when the ship is being maneuvered into mooring position alongside the jetty and when the ship is moored and the ship may be being pushed onto the jetty by the tides, winds, and currents. Adequate facilities should be provided at a jetty for safe and secure mooring. The installation should take into account the range of sizes and types of ship, local tidal variations, foreseeable weather conditions, and the nature of the cargo and ballasting operations. Accounts needs to be taken of the rise and fall of ships in relation to the jetty as a result of the changing tidal patterns. In addition, the displacement of the ship in the water will also rise and fall as the ship is emptied or filled and this should also be taken into account in the mooring system. <laughs>